Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you. Boy, oh boy, are we going to have big fun today playing some more Chrono Trigger. So when we last left off, we were working on side quests, and let's uh, get started on another one. This one's interesting, and here's why. Uh, you know this area right here? This is the Village of Truce. Uh, pretty cool little place, huh? You know, we've been there many times. Uh, down here, there is the Village of Poor, the Poor Village. Also kind of cool. Um, over this way... There is Medina Village, and we've done a lot of cool stuff there, too. If we travel back to 600 AD... Medina Village isn't here yet in 600 AD. It ends up being built over here where Ozzy's Fort is, but... Um, there's even another village uh, right here called Dorino Village. Look at the robots still down there working on the field, getting the trees planted. There's even this place here called Dorino Village. And I only know that it's called Dorino Village because it's called Dorino Inn right there. So, there you go. So there's the four cities that we've been to in 600 AD and 1000 AD. Truce, Poor, Dorino, Medina. But, there is one more city. One more village, township area that we have not really done much with. Um, in fact, we haven't done anything there. We've flown over it and taken a look at it. That's about it. So let's go find out what's going on over here in the village of... Chorus, or Chorus, or something. I'll probably call it Chorus. Uh, so here's Chorus. What do you gotta say? Stay away from the ruins. Ghost lurk in the ruins. An odd structure, old structure in the north that's been in ruins for ages. So there's a ruinous structure, and we're supposed to avoid it. Oh my gosh, the black omen sparkles in the sun. So you're looking at it like it's a freaking decoration? Jeez. Uh, let's see what's going on in the inn. What's this guy all about? Bring some more soda. Sir, I think you've had enough sugar today. Pipe down and tell you when I've had enough. Alright, well, that guy looks like one of those worker guys. Will you please buy something? Depends on what you're selling, buddy. Um, I don't want to buy anything from you. Uh, let's see. What else is going on in Chorus? There's a residence here. My husband's never around. Now I'm going to show him who's boss. Next time, pow, right in the... She's going to punch him in the face? When I grow up, I'm going to be a carpenter just like Daddy. Okay, so her husband is a carpenter, apparently, and he's never around. Uh, I'm just going to tell you, her husband is this guy drinking the worker guy up there. He's a carpenter. So, there's our problem. There's our dilemma. What's this? The West Cape. There's a grave. The great adventurer Toma Levine rests here. Okay, well, he died in 634, so I'm guessing if we travel back to 600, we can probably meet this great adventure. I don't think that has much to do with our current mission, though. It has something to do with the ruins. Let's go check out these ruins that uh, the people of Chorus were telling us about. I'm going to save it first. That guy looks mean. Okay, so before we visit Mean Guy, let's go to the right. Can we go up here and do anything? No, there's a big hole in the ground. Okay. Let's go this way, then. Let's fight this guy. Grr! Well, you look mean. Alright. So, let's just attack him. What? Oh, miss. Lousy. What? What's with all the missing? Okay, so you can't hit this guy. So, basically, all you do is you just... You just fight him for a while. You miss him every time you attack him. Uh, and then after a little while, you get uh, a little bit of a cutscene. So I'm I don't I don't want to I don't know I don't want to waste too much time like oh okay there's our cutscene my sword had no effect Len Len Cyrus tis me Glenn what Glenn Urgh. all right so he's crazy so we can't do anything for him apparently the ghost of Cyrus is this maniac ghost right there that just is going crazy. So let's see what we can do for him in 600 AD. We can't fight him because we can't hurt him. Uh, maybe if we go back in time, we can correct whatever went wrong and make him into a respectable ghost. Oh, look it. The roof changed from red to blue in the last 400 years. There's no North Cape here, where that uh, Toma's grave was. Uh, there's a new building here. It's a market. What you got in your market here, bud? Yeah, nothing I want. Okay, moving on. Residence. This wasn't here before. The black... God, this guy talking about the black omen sparkling. 
Something eerie about the northern ruins. What, the ghost at the entrance trying to kill everyone? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Alright. My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. Okay. So that guy's trying to get some work done. He looks a lot like that other carpenter. I don't know if it's his descendant or what we're dealing with here. We're only trainees. The boss is at his favorite cafe. Alright, so those guys must work for that carpenter guy. He's at his favorite cafe. What, the only one, like, on this continent? Let's go up to the northern ruins in this time period and see if we can do anything here. Okay, so no ghost at the entrance. That's a good sign. Okay, so we got these guys to kill. Oh, uh, let's see. These guys are all, um, I'm pretty sure these guys are all pretty weak to fire, but they do have a fair bit of HP. So a single fire too, as you can see, is not even going to kill these guys. Um, Luca does know Flare, however, and a single Flare will kill them. The trouble is Flare costs a ton of MP, but we have a solution for that, don't we? We'll give Luca the old gold stud here. And we'll give Magus the silver stud in case he has to assi assist. And that should be gravy right there. And he's got the sunshades. So let's keep moving. Boom! Flare absolutely one-shots these guys. So yeah, Flare's going to be the way to go. Well, we can't get much further in here, too. We could open that box. We don't want to, though, because it's one of those boxes that if you wait until 1080 to open it, it's better. We'll kill these guys on camera real quick so you can see what I'm talking about, about how Flare is pretty darn cool. Hit it, Luca. So this is Flare. Only costs 5 MP, thanks to our friend Goldstud. And it kills things real quick, like Grudge. I'm guessing that's a finishing move, like the final attack type move. I, uh, okay, so there we go. A lot of tech points, too, which is good because uh, Magus still has a tech to learn. He's the last person who doesn't know one of his techs. And he's still 500 points away, so that's no small task. But we'll get it, though. Alright. So, apparently we can't do a thing in this place, unless we can do something over here. Yeah, we can. Let's go up here. Nope, we can't. There's a big hole in the way. So we can't do anything here. Um, if only we knew of a carpenter that was willing to fix it. Well, there's this guy. But... His tools have been stolen, so he can't do a thing. No. Oh. Well, that's shameful. Alright. What's this mountain all about? Nothing? Alright. Well, it's kind of... I, I, I don't have time to get distracted. I gotta focus here, guys. We got a building to restore. So, now we know our predicament. The building has a bunch of holes in it, preventing us from getting anywhere in it. We got a carpenter who would love to fix it for us, but he just doesn't have his tools. Well, I bet you this carpenter will let us borrow his tools. Get them from my wife. So we have to go to his wife in this house here and borrow them tools. Hey, lady, give us some tools. What's that? His tools? Hold on. They're right here. You keep his tools in the fr oh the, over the fridge, on top of the fridge. Well, that makes sense. That's a good place to keep them. So now we got the guy's tools. That's kind of cool. That is cool tools. Oh, yeah. oh, game. Oh, you set me up for that one. All right. Let us return. Let's give these tools to this carpenter guy and see if maybe he will fix up the ruins so we can finish exploring it. You got some tools there. Well, yes, I do. Yeah, you can borrow them, buddy. You go ahead and get to work. Fix up the ruins for us. Let's go see what is trainees are thinking about this new project they got uh, in front of them here. Thanks for lending me those tools. We can finally get to work. I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. Well, that's mighty kind. Him and his crew, they're going to go repair the ruins for us because they're just kind like that. Bunch of nice guys. Well, you know what? Let's fly. We can fly. Let's fly. Thanks for the putting the wings on our ship, Dalton. All right. We're done for now. We can't repair the spots with the monster's hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the rest. So, that's kind of what you got to deal with, is that uh, now they want to keep working and repairing the place, but there's monsters. So they repaired that hole in the floor, so now we can get into this room. 
Boom. Okay, so we got rid of those guys. I'll fight these ones on camera for you. I don't think we've seen these enemies yet. They're, like I said, they're the same as the other ones. They're just... It, oops. It's just a matter of, uh, of doing enough damage to them. They're weak to fire, but um, they have a fair bit of HP, so... All right. Keep moving. Boom. Alrighty then. It was done, I mean, is what I meant. It was done. Boom. Okay, so we can't get up there. We can't get that treasure box, the sealed chest up there, because there's a hole. But we did get rid of the bad guys. Are there any more bad guys on the other side of the building, maybe? Let's go check that out. Okay, so we've already been down here. We killed a... And they, they didn't fix this hole. How lame. Well, let's go um, talk to the carpenter and see if he'll keep working for us here. Na, 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 na. All right. You want the northern ruins repaired? It'll cost you... What? 2,000 gold? He's charging us for this now? I guess the dude's got to make money. Nothing in it for him. Plus, I'm sure the materials aren't cheap. I mean, you know, he does have to use materials, obviously. You know, patch up these holes in the floors and stuff. We're done for now. We can't repair the spots with the monster side calls. So I have to get rid of them. So, same deal. Let's go check out where there are monsters at. We'll kill them, and then we'll go get those guys. You starting to see a pattern here? A little bit of back and forth thing going on. Well, he fixed this hole. That's good. So we can now get into this room here. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, Fagus, Magus, rests here. Okay. Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, well, he's got the Masamune. All right, what's he going to do with it? I wonder who wrote that on his grave. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus. Like, who? Who do you suppose identified him that way? Okay, that looks nothing like the Cyrus ghost we had to deal with in 1000 AD. Glenn, thank you for making the journey here. Here, Cyrus, you must think ill of me. On the contrary, you've come far. When Magus defeated me, I thought of all those whom I had left behind. Magus is standing, like, right there for this. That's why this is awesome. King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course you. Your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now knowing everyone's in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Wait, I, uh, what? Oh, no. Well, I guess he can rest easily. That's good. The queen. Look after Queen Lean. Last and farewell, Glenn. Cyrus! So sorry, Cyrus. Don't be sorry, dude. We did a good thing, man. We fixed up his grave. The Masamune? What happened to it? Oh. Oh, it's twirling. It's twirling! That's it! Oh, look it, it's the dudes. Masa and Mune. It's the dudes themselves. You can tell which one is which, because one has a purple collar. That was special. Quiet, I guess it means a hero's power comes with it. Mucho metaphysical, man. Like, mind over matter, Mune. Tongue twister. My mind? Now for a yummy full... Oh my god, we have to fight him again? Ah, jeez. Oh. We have to fight him in sword form? Because that doesn't sound that challenging, fighting a inanimate sword. Um, guess not. Just glowing with strength and vigor. Ah, it is the true identity of the Masamune. I promise to fulfill your wishes. Cool. Fa sad farewell, but eh, onward all. So, let's take a look at this. The Masamune is now super mega upgraded. Look at the frog's battle power, 195. Compare it to, like, anyone. He's better than Ayla. He hits harder than Ayla now with that the Masamune, the new one. So it's um it's still called the Masamune in your menu, uh, even though it's like upgraded, um, which is awesome. So let's go to this side now and see if there are monsters to destroy, and then we'll go talk to our buddies in the construction business and see what they can do to keep helping us out here. What? There were no freaking monsters to destroy. Why didn't they finish patching the damn place up? Stupid. Well, let's go talk to him. 
All right. Oh, we're done for now. That's it for now. Come on, you lazy blokes. Okay, so there's no more monsters, apparently. And interestingly enough, let's note this. It is now called the Hero's Grave. It's not called the Northern Ruins anymore. So apparently they're done fixing it up, and it's in good shape. Let's go take a look. No, 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 no. Okay, so we can get up here. That's good. What's up here? Boom, 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 Okay. There's a flare. Um, anyways, so this is pretty cool. Uh... The Northern Ruins are now the Hero's Grave. They're all repaired and fixed up. Um, it cost another 2000 by the way, to get them to finish the work. I don't know what was up with that first 2000 we spent. They didn't even seem to do anything. Okay, I'm going to boom these guys. Wouldn't you know there's actually a new enemy there? It was a guy called Base, a little slimy looking guy. Not a big deal. Is he going to be in on this one? Yeah, that guy right there. I'll fight this one on camera. Because, you know, new guy. But it's not like you're going to see anything new. I'm just going to do flare. I'm just going to kill him. Um, so that's it for the Northern Ruins. Uh, that's it for this side quest, too. Um, but the coolest part is collecting all the treasure, as H.C. Bailey would say. I can't do a good H.C. Bailey, I'm sorry. Uh, these chests are a lot like the other ones we've gotten earlier in the game. Something's reacting? No. Leave it there. Something's reacting? Not interested. We gotta go do that to one more sealed chest. And then we have to travel to 1000 AD. 1000 AD! Um, to uh, get the... I'm, I'm working on my HC Bailey, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, at that point we're actually going to open these. So I'll see you there, guys. Alrighty, so the old hero's grave is now much nicer looking. We're in 1000 AD, checking the place out. Let's get this box now. It is now in a hyper ether that fully restores your MP. Pretty cool. Uh, what do you got? Cyrus sleeps here, avenged by his friend Glenn. I thought there, I saw a sparkly. I could have sworn I just... There you are, sparkly. Magic tab. So the inscription's changed. It doesn't say Cyrus the Fool who challenged Magus anymore, which is nice. Who wrote that, I wonder? Who went through the trouble of building this giant, like, beautiful, ornate tomb for Cyrus? Only to, like, put some mean-spirited thing like the Fool who challenged Magus. Elixir. That's good. So now we can open up these chests and see what we get. The Nova Armor became the Moon Armor. Okay. Well, we want the Nova Armor too, so I'm going to definitely... Um, I'll do it off camera, but I'll go back to 600 and get that one too. Uh, let's go up here and get these other two chests. And then we're done with this side quest. Sorry the episode. I think it ran pretty long here, and I'm sorry guys. I wanted to do it all in one. The Shiva Edge, and that's for Chrono, by the way. Uh, the Siren becomes the Valkyrie. We can come back and get these, uh, the 600 AD versions, too. So let's check out that Shiva Edge real quick. I never even got to use the damn Slasher, too. 4x damage at critical. That's really interesting. A normal critical hit only does, like, 2x damage. So this will be 4x, which is pretty cool. Never got to use a slasher too, but what are you going to do? Moon armor, magic defense plus 10. Look at that. How freaking rad. Got a new bow for her, the Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Valkyrie, I don't know. So we got that one. And what else did we get? And then that moon armor. Magic defense plus 10. Pretty good stuff. Um, I'll go back off screen and get the all those items. I think it was the siren bow. The Kali blade or something for Chrono, which... Probably won't ever use, nor will I ever use a siren bow. And, um, the, uh, what's it called? The no, the other armor. And I'll do those between this episode and next. So have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Perry091, wishing you a wonderful day. Bye. Real quick, uh, before we end, I just want to tell you I went back and got that Nova armor. I like the Nova armor more than the moon armor, man. Like, I mean, I'm glad I upgraded it, because I got the, now I got that moon armor and the Nova armor, but, like, Man, I don't think there's any real con like comparison here. I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a look at that Nova armor right now. So the Moon armor does the magic defense plus 10. Nova armor protects status, and it's only three points less. The Nova armor is really the way to go. So we'll give him the Moon armor. I want to see how the Siren compares. Random stop. That's actually kind of cool. 
Uh, what about the chrono weapon? Kali blade? Not good. Shiva Edge is definitely the one to go with. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Bye.